Colonoscopies are often a dreaded part of getting older, but the test is supposed to help find and even prevent colon cancer. Now a new study suggests showing up is half the battle. Isabel Rosales joins us live now from Washington, D.C. to break down the numbers and explain what you need to know. Isabel? Leah, good evening to you. Colon cancer is the second most common cause of cancer death in the U.S. And every year, 15 million colonoscopies are performed here in the U.S. But a new landmark study is raising questions about its effectiveness. In May 2009, Michael Sapienza lost his mother to colorectal cancer. There is really one reason why she died, and it's because she did not get screened and she did not get checked. That has been the messaging in the fight against colorectal cancer since the mid-90s. Now, a landmark study suggests colonoscopies don't reduce cancer deaths. Published in the New England Journal of Medicine, the study found only 18% of people invited to get the procedure had a lower risk of getting colorectal cancer. But here's some important context. Less than half of the people invited to get a colonoscopy in the study actually got one. For a screening test to work, you actually have to get screened. When looking at the people in the study who actually received colonoscopies, it reduced the risk of colorectal cancer by 31 percent and cut the risk of dying by 50 percent. I think the takeaway is for right now, um, we strongly recommend that folks do not alter their plan for colon colonoscopies. And for folks nervous about the screening. No one is excited about it, but it's not really as bad as you think. Dr. William Dayhut with the American Cancer Society says the benefits are worth the discomfort. The fact that you can have a polyp resected, painlessly done, you know, in a physician's office, that will prevent an aggressive cancer from occurring is really astounding. The current recommendations is that a person get a, a colonoscopy once every 10 years, every decade after the age of 45. Leah. Isabel, what happens next? Is what should people do with this information? Should they be setting, getting an appointment right away with their doctors? Right, and it is a lot to consume. But the bottom line here, what we've heard from experts is that this study, the limitations, they need to be sorted out. They need to be looked through a lot more before doctors and patients just give up altogether on colonoscopies. So what these experts are saying uh, is that to not cancel, essentially, not cancel that colonoscopy appointment. Sure, it's awkward, it's uncomfortable to even think about or do, um, but it does save lives. And the earlier that these cancers are found out, uh, the easier they may be to treat as well, saving your life. Leah. Isabel Rosales live for us from Washington, D.C. today. Isabel, thank you.